Hello all, welcome to this session. The objective of this session is to see the org structure of SAP Warehouse Management. So in this video, we will be seeing how to create a new warehouse number. Now uh, for that, there are two ways. Either you can go with SPRO. Now in SPRO, we will go into the enterprise structure. Now in enterprise structure, we will go into definition. In definition, we will go into logistics execution. In logistics execution, we will be clicking on define, copy, check, delete, warehouse number. Now here, there are two ways. One, either you go to define warehouse number and you can straight away just copy and then you do a copy here or you go for a new entry. Now, either I can go to a new entry and I say that uh, TPG uh, new warehouse. So you can see here that this entry is already done. Now let's position TPT. You can see here this TPT, this one is actually picked up. But we don't want to do this. So this is not a standard way of doing it. So I'm not going to pick it up. What we are going to do is we are going to do a copy. Now the standard way of creating any new warehouse number is always copy with reference to this standard warehouse given by the SAP. So I'm going to pick up 001 and then I'm going to create copy as. Now either you can do a copy as here or you can click here and then you can straight away put it here. Now it will ask you that from which warehouse number to which warehouse number you would like to. So now I'm going to say that from 001 to now here two warehouse numbers should be the new warehouse number what you would like to create. So I would like to create the new warehouse number as tip PIP. Now here it says that both the number and addresses are like linked to the automatic recording or the customizing. I say OK. Now it will say that do you really want to transport the number of ranges? Always say no. You would never copy the transport numbers. And then we'll be waiting. Now you can see here at the background there are so many tables getting copied here. 65. So I would say okay. Now here it will say that warehouse number triple zero one copy to TIP without four number range objects. I would say okay. And here you will get the message that this is the warehouse number that has been done and this is copied to TIP. This is a success message. So now let's go back and let's go into define warehouse number and let's say let's try to find out if we have our warehouse number. So you can see here our warehouse number is here. Now let's change the description of this and let's say the warehouse number as new central warehouse central warehouse and then let's copy this let's save it let me create a new request and say central TIP central warehouse okay so I have done this and I'm going to save this now and then I would say okay so here the new warehouse number is created so what we are going to do is now we will go to SM30 I just want to see if in case the new warehouse number is there or not right. here there are a lot many options but I just want to see that if in case we have the tip in this entry right now or not so we have tip the new central warehouse number so this is there existing in the warehouse list. So this is really nice. Now in the next video, we will be seeing how 
to link the warehouse number to a plant and the storage location. Alright. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.